So you, there could be two problems, right? I, I could have a memory leak. Yes. I could also be generating, generating garbage. Yeah. And you're more likely to generate garbage if you're doing something 60 times a second, for example. Ah. Because if you're, if you're making a game, chances are you're going to be doing a lot of calculations, maybe generating a lot of garbage. Yeah. So that's your situation. If you're making a... What, oh. 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 If you're making a web app, the chances are you're going to be making using lots of DOM elements yeah. and shoving stuff in the DOM and creating handlers, event handlers, all that kind of stuff. Chances are you're going to have a leak there, oh. most likely. Uh, so there's those two different kind of cases that you need to think about. Yeah. And I'm going to use Chrome DevTools with both? Yes. Can I handle both? How? Yes. What am I looking for? Uh, so you're looking for the garbage collection, you're looking for a sawtooth. Yep. If you see. If you see the sawtooth, what's happening there is you're generating a lot of garbage yep. and then Chrome is uh, deciding that now is a good time to pick it up. So if you're seeing a really sharp the sawtooth, it basically means a lot of garbage and then, and then a pickup, a lot of garbage pickup, a lot of garbage pickup. Uh, so that's the one of the easiest ways to know that you're doing the garbage thing. To do the leaks, you've got a couple of options. One is uh, just below the memory uh, bit in the DevTools the, uh, timeline kind of area. Uh, there's a thing that shows you the number of, say, DOM elements and uh, uh, documents, all that yeah. kind of good stuff, right? Yep. Where you can just keep an eye on if you see that going up and up and up. And then when you get a garbage collection moment, if you don't see that drop back down to zero, then it's not releasing the stuff that you created. So you probably possibly got a leak, leak there. Uh, and you can also take a heap snapshot. Heap snapshots are great for that. Got it. Yeah, can you do, take two heap shot, snapshots and then do a comparison between the two and see what was created and what was deleted. Perfect. And it may be that you've got some leaks if you're getting more created than deleted. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. All right.